Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to work on number 115 on the FTC K-6 through uh, practice test. This is a great problem to review some very basic skills in number sense and operations. And it's also going to involve place value. So let's look at this one. It says, how many thousands are in a million? The first thing I ask teachers to do because you're in a, sometimes you're under pressure and you're in a rush, is to always make these, uh, whenever you have language here, try and make it very concrete. So I say a thousand, I'm going to make, I'm going to just do a thousands. How many thousands in a million? And make it very concrete. I write out the numerical values for a million and a thousand so I can just visually see it a little bit better. We're trying to find out how many, how many of this is in this, all we need to do is do division. So I'm going to do a million divided by a thousand. How many thousands go into that million? And when I do, do this type of division, I could think about this like um, not just crossing out zeros here to get to my answer. I don't want to just cross. I don't. I don't want to just cross out zeros. I want you to think about it as you're dividing by factors of ten every time you cross out a zero, so that you're left with um, a thousand goes into a million a thousand times, because a, th um, a million divided by a thousand gets you to a thousand. You know. Let's say we wanted to check our work. We could the the reverse the inverse of division is multiplication, so. If a thousand goes into a million a thousand times, then it must be true a thousand times a thousand equals a million. And I'm going to check that. Now I'm going to think about um, multiplication with factors of 10. I got to make sure that I, I know how to do that as well. I need to know that when I'm multiplying numbers with factors of 10, I, I look to the whole numbers, I multiply those out, I get my 1, and then I count my zeros here got six zeros so in fact a thousand times a thousand equals a number with six uh, with one and six zeros or a million so this problem right here the answer is D I'm not really concerned if you got to the answer D I want you to be able to apply some of these strategies and, and walk through some of these steps and the first one is make sure that you turn it to uh, very concrete values a thousand equals a thousand a million equals a million make sure you can visually see it then I want you to be sure that you can do this type of division with factors of 10. Dividing by factors of 10, it's like crossing out zeros, help you get to 1,000 very quickly. And if you wanted to check that, you could do a multiplication with factors of 10. And make sure you know how to do this very uh, relatively very quickly. All right? Lots of math here, especially if you're, you're really struggling with some of that core math. You want to go back and, and make sure you're able to do all these things in this problem so you can, with confidence, get to the answer D. Um, if you're struggling with this problem right here, I would suggest go, going back to looking at place value and looking at um, how to do uh, division with factors of 10 and multiplication with factors of 10. That would be the st those would be the primary skills for a problem like this. Okay, team, I hope you found this video helpful. This is Chris Abram from GoMath. Have a great day. Take care. Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.